Benetech's story has been quite a long and um, exciting one. Um, it's been uh, part of the uh, ASX uh, listed companies in biotech for a number of years. Um, but um, we've had a uh, up and down history in Benetech. Um, initially, the, our major scientists uh, discovered this transformational technology, which we currently control worldwide, to silence genes. Any gene associated with disease, cancer, infectious disease, and, and other chronic life-threatening conditions can be silenced using our technology. And, and this was met by great excitement in the early 2000s when Bantech was listed. Um, and unfortunately, or perhaps uh, predictably, due to the extraordinary nature of the, um, of the technology, it was challenged and um, the patent was re-examined in the US, which took a fair bit of momentum out of, out of Benetech's steam for quite a while. Um, in 2010, just like, in fact last year, Benetech's patent was reissued in full by the US Patent Office, and so Benetech today is relaunched and reinvigorated with, with a new, new uh, management, new board, and, and the same technology and the same drive, which is to be able to, uh, to prove the efficacy and safety of this technology for a range of diseases. And, um, and that's what we're doing right now. Benetech has been listed on the ASX for, for over 10 years. However, uh, Due to its um, issues with the US Patent Office and the patent be, being re-examined over the past few years and being reissued just recently, we are now back, back on track. So we could be considered to be in the startup phase. Having, having um, won the Patent uh, Office decision, we are now uh, realising the power and the, and the efficacy and the safety of this technology through a number of R&D programmes which are in the clinic which are in the preclinical stage. Our programs include um, a program in hepatitis B, in non-small cell lung cancer, and in chronic cancer-associated pain. Those programs have been chosen to demonstrate the efficacy of the technology in a range of different conditions, oncology, infectious disease, pain, and also, therefore, to be able to um, validate the technology and to be able to take it from the preclinical stage through to the clinic. We hope at least one of those programs will be in the clinic within the next 12 months. And so, so we're doing that because the technology is powerful, transformational, and we're realising the vision of the founding scientist who discovered this technology over 10 years ago. We've had quite an extraordinary 12 months period in, in uh, Benetech's life. Within the last 12 months we have uh, changed the board and the management so that the, um, the, the company is reinvigorated. We have had a major victory at the US Patent Office to reissue our key Graham patent which is the major patent uh, for this transformational gene silencing technology. And we have raised $8 million in a renounceable rights issue which, was, which occurred in May. Additionally, we have commenced three new R&D programs in, in cancer-associated pain, in hepatitis B, and in non-small cell lung cancer. Each of those has been, is being done in collaboration with external organisations. In hepatitis B, we are working with a Chinese-based company, Biomics, Biotechnologies. Hepatitis B, of course, is a major problem in China, and therefore we feel that, that Positioning that program within China gives us the opportunity to maximise its potential in the marketplace. We are pursuing the non-small cell lung cancer program in collaboration with the University of New South Wales, who have discovered a key gene that's responsible for resistance of, of the non-small cell lung cancer cells to chemotherapy drugs. And by switching it off using our technology, we can, in fact, uh, render those cancer cells sensitive again to chemotherapy drugs. The third uh, program is in cancer associated pain and we're proving that up in, in, uh, in uh, conjunction with Tetra Q at the University of Queensland. Um, and the, the dream of that program 
is to be able to, from a single injection, provide long-term uh, relief to, um, to, to patients who are suffering from terminal cancer pain. So over the, over the last 12 months, we have had quite a transformational change to the company, maintaining, of course, our major technology, which is to the ability to silence any genes for therapeutic benefit. In the next 12 months, Benetech will be focusing on our key project areas to prove the power and the efficacy and the safety of the technology to silence genes. So we plan to take at least one of the programs um, in cancer-associated pain or uh, non-small cell lung cancer or hepatitis B to the clinic. And uh, in that regard, we have commenced a program with a clinical research organisation to gear us up to um, prepare documentation for us in the, in the cancer pain area to take it to a, an FDA clinical trial, phase one, two trial. That hopefully will take between 12 and 18 months to complete. Um, furthermore, we are planning to do uh, an awareness raising campaign of our technology to major farmers in the US, Europe and China. Um, I'm, I'm uh, travelling to those parts of the world, presenting at conferences and roadshows within the next 12 months to be able to indicate to potential farmers uh, that, that this technology has the power to be able to transform the pharmaceutical industry in many uh, areas and conditions which are currently difficult to treat. So. Um, within the next 12 months, we also will be increasing our collaborative programs, expanding our focus, looking at particularly uh, diseases which are genetically based diseases, to again really show that the, the extraordinary range of diseases which our technology and gene silencing can provide treatment and possibly cures for. Benetech has a broad shareholder base. It's because over the years the power and the potential of the technology has been, has been seen by many as, uh, as having uh, the potential to change the course of human therapeutics. Um, we are still working on that technology and, sh and proving its potential. And the shareholders have been very patient to date and have in fact continued to support us through our most recent renounceable rights issue. The shareholders vision for this company remains unchanged and supported by management which is that this technology has the ability to switch off genes associated with disease and therefore to provide therapeutic solutions for currently untreatable diseases. The vision of the shareholders is, is supported by the board and the management and we're working hard to, to make that vision a reality. However, the process takes time due to regulatory constraints. We have to ensure that our targets are valid, that our, that our method of delivery uh, is feasible and that our, our long-term effects of the, of the delivery don't have any adverse effects. To date, we're very encouraged by our results and we continue to, um, to hold the view that this technology will, um, within, a, within a relatively short period of time, become um, used in the clinic for, for many conditions. So our vision, our shareholders' vision and our vision is that this technology could form the next wave of human therapeutics and we are working hard to demonstrate that. To find out more information about Benetech and our technology, you can go to our website, www.benetech.com, or you can follow us on Twitter, or, of course, you can visit the Wholesale Investors website.